Hello, I am Fouché and I'm from Jersey. I'm a recording artist. Peak, got the short and the sticks, so we make the fire with it. I lived in New Jersey my entire childhood. And then um, after school, I moved to New York for a little bit, and then now I'm in LA. But um, I spent most of my life in Jersey. I'm definitely like 100% a Jersey girl. Growing up, my mom would play a lot of Bob Marley. I kind of just listened to whatever she would listen to, which would be the radio and Bob Marley, Celine Dion, Tony Braxton, like Bob Marley left a big imprint on me. You know, he was a guy playing guitar and writing songs about what was going on in the world. And I think I kind of followed that uh, blueprint. The very first instrument I picked up was a trombone, actually. I really wanted to play like violin and flute because all the other girls were doing it. But, you know, by the time I got around to signing up, there was only, I think, trombone, tuba, like all the instruments that people were like a little intimidated by. But I really liked the trombone because it was like more theatrical, like you do all these movements and gestures and it was like, Okay, I could do that. I could try that. There was a lot of performing when I was a kid, um, whether it was like in our living room space, I used to perform for the family a lot. But I think uh, the first performance I ever had singing, uh, it was probably, what is that, elementary school. And we had like a school concert and I had a little solo and I took it very seriously and they gave me like a time cue to come in. So I remember the person who was performing before me was supposed to hand me the mic and they were kind of like lagging. So I remember like just grabbing the mic and I was very aggressive. I took my role very seriously. You're my, I'm my partner in crime. I, um, I had a neighbor who I formed a band with. We would coordinate these shows and we would, as a collective, perform for our families. But I think in the end, everyone realized like, you know, I don't know. I just always really wanted, <laughs> I always really wanted to sing more than anything. And uh, you know, other people have their own paths and they ended up doing other things. I kind of like forced them to be in this band. But I ended up being solo. But I think I just, did that because, you know, I didn't have the confidence. I was so shy, so I broke out of my shyness, my stage fright by performing as much as possible. So my time I spent in New York was like so important. And that's where I got my chops. That's where I got over my stage fright. I don't feel like you ever really get over stage fright though. There's still a little bit of butterflies always there. I think how I, Right, like my creative process changes with like how I change. Um, there was a time, but like during quarantine and like right before quarantine where I was writing a lot, I was journaling a lot. And um, I always try to write about what I'm feeling in that moment. And I've written songs where I'm not feeling it in that moment. And it just feels, it doesn't feel the same. Like you can't perform it the same um, and record it the same unless you can relate and unless you honestly feel that way. There's so many people like who are artists that it just like clicks for them. They just like come out the womb and like next you know, oh, I got signed, I'm like this huge star. But then there's other artists who like work and work and work and you know, it kind of like, there's waves to it. Like there's like high points and low points. And sometimes you just feel like, you know, is anything gonna happen? Or am I gonna make it? Or are my dreams gonna come true? It feels like I'm a kid again. And I'm just like, you know, daydreaming about being on like a huge stage with a whole bunch of people and stuff. It can actually, it's like tangible. And that feels crazy. It's so like reaffirming and 
the kid in me is sobbing. <laughs> but there's so much I want to do, and wow, uh, it's interesting because, like, you know, when you are. Stop, stop it. Don't look at me. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I promise. I'm not going to cry. <clears throat> I don't know. I just never. I never saw it like happening like this, but it makes me so proud and like excited about the future. Let's go to Paris.